Hey guys, I want to show you a quick proof of concept I have here. I've been working on this uh, for a little bit of time now. Uh, this here is a pizza box. I have a servo motor hooked up, and then there's a screw here, and I cut a little incision there. Uh, what this is going to allow me to do is that as I control the motor, this uh, top of the box is actually going to open and close. So I call this guy my, my pizza box monster. And over here we have, we have a breadboard, a uh, RC uh, filter here. We have my Arduino, and this here is a potentiometer, a, a bit, and then a, a connector bit here. Okay, so all this here allows me to record in a sequence of movements on the motor, and then play it back. All right, so I'm going to demo that right now. All right, first thing I have to do is actually record the movement. Okay, so I'm going to control the movement here with this potentiometer here, okay? All right, let me set up the recording right now. All right, so this is a, you can't see it, it's on my computer, but once I enter in the right code, it's going to start recording, okay? All right, it's recording. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now it's done recording. Uh, it's about just a few seconds there. And I did about six open and closes, or six open and closes. So let's see. Let's play it back and, and see what happens. Okay, so this time we're gonna, you're going to see this guy start moving, but uh, no hands. See, I'm not going to be touching, touching it. All right, let's try this out. I'm going to do a playback, press Enter. Let's see what happens. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and then it ends up open. All right, there you go. So, see, it's a little bit rough. You'll see it's not super stable uh, in terms of the movement, and part of the reason why is because of this uh, RC filter I made. It's a little bit crude. It's not, you know, uh, refined. But we can work on that later. So what I'm thinking is that if as we work on this, you know, what if we combine a bunch of different axes, and then we can teach a robot to uh, start dancing to a song or something like that. So we figure that might be kind of fun. All right, uh, that's it for now.